Alright, I just want to show you just <clears throat> one more thing about the, the for loop here. We've already seen what it does here. Now we are already just seeing about the rules of scope here. Like if I try to output x, it's going to have a problem because x does not exist here. Well, even though we initialized it. And we'll talk about this in the rules of scope in the next couple of videos. Just like maybe I think we'll only have one more video, then we'll talk about the rules of scope. <clears throat> so this video is going to be really short, hopefully. And now, just the <clears throat> we can only use X inside the for loop here. X will not exist anywhere else. So we don't need it right now. And I'm not going to go too far in depth here. Now, just to, um, just to show you something here, if I had an int x and it was equal to 5 and I output x it'll just display 5 of the screen okay now if I try to display it here it's gonna have a problem because x doesn't exist before this statement here so there are certain times in the program when variables exist here because I never initialized an x here and it doesn't know what it is so I can only output this x after I declared it. Okay, so now I want to show you um, a random number here. So uh, before I do that, I need to include my library. Or the computer will have some problems using these statements. S rand time null. Okay, so now we can have random numbers here. Now, before we begin this one here, if we uh, output, I just want to show you this with the random numbers here. If I output random mod 1 here, this will only output one number, and that's going to be 0 every time because there's only one number to output. It's, only, it's always going to be 0 because now we already saw that if I change it to 2 it'll either be 0 or 1 and that's 50-50 because they're evenly picked and if we did if we did 3 it'd be there'd be a 33.3% chance for each approximately you know it's evenly picked now if I did 0 here what's going to happen Let's try it. Well, there's nothing to pick. It's going to have some problems. And we're just going to break that. And we don't want those problems. So we'll just keep it easy. And the... Uh, so we'll just, we'll just keep it a building easy here. So uh, now let me go back here. So first we want to have x and equaling 0 here. Well, I don't want to take a random mod 0 here. So we can make this random numbers here. So let's look at this first. So let's say we have 10 here. As long as uh, x is greater than 0, we're going to run this here. Then we'll subtract 1. <coughs> and we're done. So first, our, our first number is going to be a random number between 1 through 10. The next number is going to be a random number through 1 through 9. <coughs> then 1 through 8, 1 through 7. Then the last one's always going to be 0 here. The second to last one will always be a random number between zero to, from 0 to 1. Does that make sense why? <coughs> because, well, let's trace this. If we had a, uh, a first x equals 10 here. So we take random mod 10. That's an, a random number from 0 to 9. The next one's a random number from 0 to 8. And then the next number is a random number from 0 to 7. So we can use these random variables as well. We can take a random mod of variable, if you haven't done that yet. And just be careful that it doesn't go to 0 or your computer is going to have some problems. It doesn't like that. I'll cause it to go slow for a little bit. And then... So we can also just use expressions here. So let's just say we had random, we can say mod uh, 
2 times 2 times x plus 1. We can make expressions like this as well. But you got to put these expressions in parentheses so it knows the computer will know that this is all one this is all one calculation. And that doesn't go here. That's going to go here. Okay, so yeah, the random mod, this has to be as one expression. So it looks like 11 from 1 to 11. And let me output that to the screen so we can see it. And it'll just basically be a, <coughs> a fancy expression from a random number from 1 to 11. There's 0. There's 10. Oh, actually, it'd be a random number from 1 to 10. Because, look, random mod 11 is a random, is from, picks from 0 to 10. So we can kind of use this here towards our advantage here. And then, now, <coughs> just one last video. I want to go over how to generate non-repeating random numbers here.